Like I thought, I forgot a few items here, unfortunately. So let's go back and get those. They're not too far back, so it's not that big of a deal, but there are important items that I missed. Um, well, not necessarily plot related. They are, well, they're, they're good to have at this point, so I want them. We need to head back here, and we need to use the Tiny Tapper a couple times yet again. You might remember we were here before when we got the brownie ring. I never actually finished going this way. Um, I thought there was another access route in there, but that was the one that we saw that we couldn't get up there properly. So let's head up and actually out through here, and then we can grab these treasure chests. And we instantly grow up. We grow up when we get a seed, apparently. Oblong seed, Altina alloy, that's really what I came here for. And snake scale, also very, very nice. Uh, and then you can just use this uh, to get on down and shoot out of here. Um, so I will meet you back at the statue. Back at the statue, all healed and saved and ready to move on. Let's head into the subsea volcano. Uh, pretty sure I mentioned it, but we fought the Kraken. It was unleashed, and it was not that terrifying, to be honest with you. And now we're up against more hedgehogs. Of course more hedgehogs. I'm going to keep using the flail. Flail's working out very well for me here. Don't... Don't stand... Don't stand in the lava, Lester! What the hell are you doing? Apparently I stood in the lava for a little bit there, too. I should be able to... No, no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, I can head up here, and yeah, Lester's gonna die here because he's stupid and just... Oh, is there lava here? I didn't even notice. Yes, you did, Lester. Give me the choco lump. Jump! No! Damn it. I stood in there for nothing. It, it looks like it takes a percentage of uh, your health off, not necessarily a flat amount. So let's head out this way, and Lester is dead, as expected. Pumpkin! <laughs> die, pumpkin. Just die. What the hell is that? <laughs> no. <laughs> it tried to explode on me, but I wouldn't let it. I wouldn't let it. Freaking pumpkins everywhere. Nope. There we go. Of course I want to... Damn it. <laughs> that one did explode on me. That one definitely did. No! <laughs> that was my problem. I'm letting everything all explode in my face. It's like my first week of college all over again. Ah. Uh, really smoke. I got a pumpkin out of it, though. I'll be good for something eventually, hopefully. Give me my health back. Screw you, you respawned. <laughs> I don't want you to respawn. No. Yes, go away. Don't explode in my face. <laughs> Freaking volcano balls. And an angel grail. Why not? Okay, let's try to heal now that we're in the relative safety of the corner. Alright, back to full health. Very nice. No, don't. No exploding in my face. Okay. Hit him from a distance. That way he can't explode a fire. Very nice. Let's head over to the left here. And we can grab ourselves a fire coin. Always useful because I do need 10 of each of those. Let me deal with all this stuff again. This time I want to head south. Back the way that we came. And then we can head... Ugh. How did that hit me? Oh, 3D is not in sync. And we got more of these guys. Definitely more of these guys. These are not tough, though. These, if I can get a critical, they would die in two hits. See? Look at that. Critical, and down you go. Now, if I remember right, I want to head to the right here. And I can go over here and grab this treasure chest with a lizard scale in it. Very nice. Now we can head back this way. Ignore all the hedgehogs that spawned here while I continually get damage dealt to me. Now I need to switch over to Luna here. And probably need to switch over to the bow so that I can actually hit it from a distance. See, now I have two Lunas because she has upgraded once. 
down it goes. Not that it really mattered. I didn't need that kind of damage. Any sort of damage would have been enough. Let's bring out the flail again because the flail is, is where it's at. Also need to change back to wisp actually so I can heal. Oh, I wonder if that's a polter chest or not. Die, bumpkin! Die. Yeah, no surprise there. Let's just bust out the knuck since it's so close to us already. Now <laughs> one shot it. How does that feel? No. Don't, don't, don't explode in my face anymore. I'm tired of that. No. Another bumpkin. This place is so long and linear sometimes it forces me to take these guys on one at a time. I don't have much of a choice to avoid that. No. <laughs> Damn it. I thought that was going to be a real treasure chest. Give me my mace. Jump smash for the victory. It didn't even drop anything, the douche. I used my death blow on you. Which way is the flail? There it is. Now we can go down here and we can grab ourselves a long seed and a gummy frog. As you might imagine, it looks like all of this was... Uh, all this was a dead end? Oh, but I should be able to jump off of here. And now we're back where we were before with bumpkins in our way. Down they go, though. Just need to get rid of the one so I can head up here. Now, if... Oh, jeez, these guys... Okay, yeah, hold on. Just this one last guy here. And down he goes. Now, I did actually miss a shiny in the last room over here. I can't believe I missed the shiny. What am I doing? We, we, we need to be on the flail. Flail at all times. We're leveling that up. Now, in this room... We can get the fire geode hanging out down there, in the middle of the lava. Don't miss it. I have taken on enough of you guys for one lifetime. And are you kidding me? I was outside the range, damn it. I was outside the range. Oh, God, those freaking lava balls. They, they would have killed me if it wasn't for my brownie ring. They definitely would have. So let's head up here and avoid this. I'm out of I'm out of range. And no, it doesn't affect the freaking hedgehogs. Those guys are immune to explosion for whatever reason. <laughs> now you can die, freaking Sonic wannabe. Pink Sonic. Nobody would have played a pink Sonic. No, it, the the floor is crumbling around me. Die. <laughs> now we can head up here. Avoid these. And I believe this... Oh, jeez, of course, right as he spawns. The guy that I would love to fight. I leave the screen. Now let's head up here. There was nothing up there, unfortunately. So let's continue heading around. And let me take on these moths. Now let's check to see if there's anything over here. Looks like this is going kind of circular in pattern here. And actually... I believe I have missed something that we could have gotten with the tiny tapper. So let's head back the way that we came, unfortunately. I keep on missing these things because I'm not used to having the tiny tapper the first time I go through this place, to be honest with you. So let's head back, and where I need to go is... The hell is the giant cloud thing? Die! Okay, no, I, I'm not messing with a giant cloud that's pissed off at me all the time. I want to have this little MP. Okay, so in this room with all the meta balls, let's not get hit by the meta balls. Now, there is a small hole here that I can get to with the tiny zapper if we go through here. Probably should have waited until, until I was actually over to use it. Now, I hate when they start doing this. Can I jump? Jump, jump. Let me through! <laughs> oh, God. Hold on while I find the way. Okay, for whatever reason, my game glitched out on me and it wouldn't let me through. It's a very simple route. When you get to the end, you start heading up. For whatever reason, the game decided, no, we're not going to let you up. Uh, I don't know if I grew in there and then it, w it wouldn't let me through, but I had to go reload and save, even shrinking myself back. Uh, simply did not work. 
So we grabbed the greater gator skin and the fossil, and now we can head the way that, you know, I would like. I have to be careful here, because not only are there the meta balls, there are the lava balls of doom. Damn it. And I don't want them to explode. Those can kill me! It doesn't matter what equipment I'm wearing. Those things can kill. Now... Wait. Did I miss treasure over here? There's treasure up there. Uh, see, I, when I had to reload the save, I don't remember if I grabbed everything. Uh, yeah, let's let's avoid that. Now I should be able to not go that way. So um, hopefully they will. The way to those uh, those treasure chests will show up in. Uh, see, I didn't even see that one there, and it exploded, and I couldn't move. I hate you. I hate you. And we have a cloud. Why do we have a cloud? Oh, God. I will try to take on the cloud. Let's go for the sword. There we go. Weak to sword. Weak to sword indeed. I am on fire. I'm still on fire. Why am I on fire? There, there we go. Do not spit fire on me, man. Okay, he is no longer weak to that. What? Did he, like, change it? How, how about... No, he's not weak to that either. If he's not weak to a weapon, I might just uh, I might just abandon this. Uh, didn't I try the flail first? Yeah, he's not weak to that either. Forget it. I'm not going for magic on this guy. Not with my uh, MP this low. But we do have this guy. Let's go ahead and take him out. He's not going to be a problem. That that is no problem whatsoever. So. Freaking clouds everywhere. They they have got to be only weak to a certain kind of magic. Hell if I'm going to be sitting here figuring out which one it is. No! Damn you, Polter Chest! I just wanted the real treasure chest, which is hemp. Hooray! All that work so I could get hemp, so I could avoid work. Just jump over the lava there, so we don't have to... Take that, and then uh, it looks like there are tiny tapper holes all over the place, but they are not. They are lies. They are deceitful. I think we are done on this side. I'll just grab the hemp. Now, hold on. I think there actually is something else here. Isn't there a way down? Yes, there is a way down. There is. And this leads me to, uh, I don't know if this was the treasure chest that I saw, but it definitely looks like it could be, with a gummy frog in it. Let's head back up. There's definitely something else here that I would like, but I don't know if I remember how to get there. Uh, I believe we are done here, though. I do need to heal eventually. Um, yeah, I can take on the freaking moths. Now that they're gone and smoke enemies have shown up, let's head up here and we can break this wall! I bet you didn't think you could do that. Just random wall in the middle of nowhere. Break it open! So let's head this way and we find another wall that we want to go through. And this leads us to Maya Lead. That is definitely a good item. Lead! It's not poisonous for some reason. Now, I believe I need to head back the way that we were before, so it's back through all of this. You saw the statue. That is our destination. Let's ignore all these moths. These guys are getting very annoying, especially with these guys. All right, I need to head this way. Damn it! I swear I was outside the circle. I was outside the circle! Heal me in case one more should hit me for whatever reason. I don't think there's... <laughs> this wasn't even the right way. It wasn't even the right way. Uh, okay, I was outside the circle that time. Get out of my way, hedgehog! Is it this way? It was... Was it? No, it wasn't! Damn it! <laughs> now I'm lost because I'm panicking about... My lack of MP and my refusal to use items for whatever reason. So now we can head up here and then possibly this way. Yes, this is the way. Okay, there we go. Now we can avoid the smoke enemies. And how did that hit me? And here's another breakable wall. So let's go through it 
And now, we find ourselves at the Golden Goddess statue, and that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by Loki, who narrowly escaped with his life, and Lester, who, who didn't. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.